Hey church, my name's Zoe Reed, and I'm one of the pastors at Audacious Central and it is my privilege to be sharing today's devotion with you. We are um, going through 21 days of prayer and fasting and I'm sure that you're having a fantastic time praying and believing stuff and today our focus is discipleship, okay? Let me read a verse to you. Matthew 4 um, verses 19 to 20, it says this, Jesus called out to them, come follow me and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. The first thing that Jesus called his disciples to do was to follow him. Before they did anything else, he asked them to be with him. He wanted them close so that he could teach them, that they could learn from him and that they could know him. So he, Jesus wants us to be close to him. He wants us to be with him before we do anything for him. He wants us to know him. He wants us to be close to him. And he wants us to be able to hear him and we need to be close to do that. So we do this in our own personal devotion, which is essential to being with and knowing God. But as well as your own personal devotion, we, we need to um, learn and grow. And as a church, we offer a fantastic library of discipleship courses that you can attend, that you can um, be part of that will really help you to grow and be with God, okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through all the different um, discipleship things that we, we do and the areas where I'd really like you to pray for them today, okay? So um, we've recently launched our Sunday night discipleship nights, which are absolutely brilliant and they are going so well. We've had some amazing teaching. We've got into small groups. We've answered questions and we're, we're hopefully you're, you're begun, beginning to feel part of a community. And so today I really want us to pray for these nights. I want us to pray that they continue to grow and that people really connect with God and people connect with other people and feel that they are part of a community because God never intended us to do this on our own. He wants us to do it in community, okay? As well as discipleship nights, once a term, so that's three times a year, we run a day called the Freedom Day. And this day is split into three sessions and it, we teach people um, the tools to live in, in the freedom that Christ really wants us to live in, okay? We, we, Jesus died so that we can be free, but we don't always live in that freedom. And on this day, we give people the tools to help them live in that freedom, okay? So I want us to pray that these freedom days are real landmark days for people, okay? The people that attend that this is a real significant day in their life and that the hand of God is on the whole day, okay? We also have loads of other courses, okay? We run marriage courses, we run pre-marriage courses, we run parenting course, cor courses, um, Nots to Elevens parenting and also a teenage parenting course, okay? And these run termly. So every term we've got these courses running at different times, okay? And I want us to pray today that these gain real momentum and people access them, okay? It's no good just running them if people don't access them. So I really want us to pray that people access these courses. Um, and the idea of these courses as well, another thing with these courses is that people make new friends, okay? So that as people, we have got a community of people around them. And I really want us to pray for that today, that people get community in these courses, okay? And another course that um, I want to highlight to you today, and I really want us to pray for, is the wellbeing course. This also runs termly. It runs for eight weeks, and it is an absolutely fantastic course. I would highly recommend it, okay? And it, it, it's growing, and it's gained huge momentum and significance, okay? So I'd really like us to pray today that the team that facilitates this course grows, okay? That God sends the right people at this time to facilitate this course, okay? And that people's lives are transformed through doing this course, okay? So discipleship is a really important part of Audacious Church and it's essential for us all to grow stronger, for us all to grow deeper. And 
I really, really want to encourage you this morning to be with him. Be with Jesus in your own personal devotion time. And as Audacious Church, as a community, I want to encourage you to be with him. Okay, so let me just recap. Today, these are the things I want you to pray for. Number one, discipleship nights. Number two, the Freedom Day. Number three, marriage, pre-marriage and the parenting courses. And number four, the well-being course, okay? They gain momentum, they get stronger and people find community and people's lives are changed by these courses, okay? So have a great day, church, and let's get praying for these things. Have a good day.